All right, well, here we go with our latest project. This is a, a backyard find. I always dreamed of driving across country and finding a cool car and driving it home. This one is actually less than a mile from my house. So the mission for today is to air up the tires, kind of dig out the junk around the bottom of it, jack it up, and see if we can get it out of the holes it's sitting in. Getting it out of the backyard is going to be a little bit more difficult because we got to remove this some of this grapevine here over here. So what we've got is a 68 Cougar XR7. It's a one owner, about 80,000 miles on it. I haven't even seen exactly how many. They told me it had 80,000 on it. Let's see if it uh, shows 89, 323. And they told me it's been sitting back here for at least 25 years. And I believe it. Um, it's pretty rough, but uh, we're going to dig it out and see what we can do with it. All right, let's start moving stuff. Okay, so I did a little bit of digging out here, cleared out the tarps. Let's pop the hood and take a look at the engine. If I can figure out how to open it. Where's that? So, it's like a 302 two barrel. Um, doesn't look, looks dirty, but it's all pretty much stock and original looking. So some fluid there in the wiper. Look at that mercury guy right there. Then on the interior, I found the keys. The keys are sitting right on the console. Looks like they've been there forever. Cool switches, cool overhead console. Let's pop the trunk and see what's in the back. Look at that, that was easy. Oh yeah, we got an army blanket, we got the hubcaps. Those hubcaps are cool. Well, I've been working on it a bit here. I got the front end jacked up. And that's allowed me to get my first glance at the bottom of the car. And man, it's worse than I had hoped for. I don't know if you can see that, but that frame rail's gone. Gone, gone, gone. So, looks like we're heading towards a part out project here rather than a get on the road project. All right, let's get the back end jacked up. All right, so I got all four wheels up out of the mud and sitting on blocks. And man, the more I jack on the thing, the worse it looks. But I guess it's mine now and we're gonna have to get it out of here. So I think the next step is gonna be dealing with this mess right here. She said I could take half of this out and take it out through the yard there. So might have to run home, get the tractor, and a saw and some stuff and rip out some of this front wheels don't appear to turn so that's not good either uh, roll the window down the interior I think is gonna be the nicest part of this car flipped up the seats here and uh, they look pretty nice I'll get those off later but no it might just be interior parts is what this thing's worth all right here's the plan I cleared out some of the grapevine hopefully enough to squeeze it through there we're gonna go home and get the Kubota tractor hook onto it cut the wheels to the left here and hopefully we can swing around this corner and take it out through the lawn right there without tearing up the lawn too much the rear wheels do spin they're free but the fronts are stuck hopefully it'll free up when it rolls otherwise it's gonna make a heck of a mess. All right, let's go get the tractor.
want a guinea pig. Oh, yeah. Guinea pig and hamster. And they so almost, bad. And, and, and they almost got it out, but but they, they can't do it anymore because but it, but it, if they turn it anymore, they're gonna hit the building. So then, yeah, I'm your board. So if you if you want, you could take us home. We want a guinea pig so bad. Hamster. Hamster. So it didn't get loud. So see ya. Love you. All right, here's the status so far. One, I'm out of breath. Two, I've only got one tire that rolls, so it's a struggle here. I'm yanking out it with the tractor, tearing up the lawn. Not too bad, back here it's pretty bad. I'm trying to get it to slide on the wood. Wood keeps popping out, so I get it a couple feet and jack it back up, put the wood back under it. So it's good. I had to go to about, what, 30 more feet here? That's gonna be a struggle too. But we're gonna keep keep jerking on it. See what happens. Look at that. Looks like you'd hop in it and just drive it home. Oh well it's about 2.30 now and I still came over here about 10.30. So I've been over here for a little over four hours dragging this thing out. After I got the tractor up onto the asphalt, it came right out. But in the grass I didn't really have enough weight. So now I need to clean up my mess. Let the car sit there for tonight, I think. Oh yeah, and I'm getting a boat out of this deal too. I told her I'd get her out of, out of her backyard while I'm at it, so I guess we gotta move boat next. All right, I'm a little out of breath here, but we just gotta load it up on the trailer, drug it, moved it, used the ramps. You're gonna need to get a pan underneath that uh... Tank, yeah, our gas tank's got a little bit of a leak in it from old rotten gas, so we'll have to get a pan under it when we get home. But we only got about eight blocks to go, so see you in a second. Well, we got the thing home. So now what do I do with it? Let's do a little investigation, do some homework on the car. It's, it's bad shape. I guess I've said that many times, but let's have some fun and see what we can find in it. What I'm really trying to figure out is when was it parked? Um, I'd be curious. So here's some maps. What years on the maps here? 78, 79. I don't know. 80, 81. So that's definitely old. When I talked to them this morning, they said they thought it might've been sitting there for 30 years. So again, it's got, let's look here, 89,000 miles on it. It is an XR7. It's got a clock. It's got an oil pressure gauge over here. It's cool switches. Those are neat. Um, let's see, I threw the glove, I threw the keys in the glove box. What do we got here? Notepad. Owner's manual. Oh, look at this. I think this is the build sheet right here. I'm going to set the camera down and unfold that neater. Yep, there it is. There's the build sheet for this thing. A little bit missing up at the top. F code, I think that means 302 two barrel. That's cool. What else we got? Some directions somewhere. Oh, another build sheet. Second copy of the same thing. Oh, there's license number. 68 Cougar. Another build sheet. There's a warranty tag. The original owner. That's the people I just bought it from. Or the 
lady. Her husband died last year sometime. All right, let's uh, let's pop the trunk again. Let's see what's going on back there. Trunk opens nice. So we got trash, army blanket, pliers, nice fishing hat. Go fishing today. Oh, here's a flare. May 65. But that one's still good. What's this? More flares. That's not good. Shouldn't touch that stuff. Nothing real exciting. Nice hole on the floor. Well, the most interesting thing I found in here was this little emergency auto kit. Got this neat little ball that you probably set on top of your car. Magnet on the bottom. Got an SOS flag. Throw that on your antenna. Check out this stuff. I bet it's deadly. A little first aid kit with, what does that say? Merco chrome? Mercier chrome? I bet that stuff is not good for you. Let's put that back. That's about it for the trunk. Oh, I bet this trailer light used to pull that boat right there. The boat was a package deal. I guess I had to take it too, but we're going to get rid of that. So I got the passenger side door open, and we've got three partial build sheets. One nice one, two short ones. So we've got the warranty plate, warranty card, all the, pretty much all the documentation. This is probably... The original envelope, the title came in. I've got a newer title. They, they got a new title sometime in the 80s for some reason. The new, newest thing I found in here is 81. So this thing may have been sitting since the early 80s. And unfortunately it sat outside in the mud. So what am I going to do with this thing? I don't know. I think I might try to get it running. The, I did try grab the fan and the motor is free. So maybe that's what we should do. Hook a can up to it and see if it'll pop off. Let me put this glove, stuff, glove box stuff away and uh, take the seat covers off. See what the black seats look like underneath there. Well, I grabbed a leather wipe here. Let's wipe these seats off and see what, see how they look. I think they've actually cleaned up really nice. Holy cow. A little bit of work on those. I think they'd be really sweet. Carpet's actually been nice under the floor mats. Got a little aftermarket radio, some sort there. Stock is just AM, it looks like. Be fun to pop that rear seat out of there and see what's up. there's anything under there. This is a shame. The body is gone. So what do we have here? We got a 68 Cougar XR7, 302 two barrel, automatic. Drum brakes. Uh, it's got power steering, but no air conditioning. Um, what else? 89,000 miles. Black interior, one owner. It's just a shame. Sat outside for who knows how long. First they told me 20 years, then they told me 25 years, and this morning they told me 30 years. And I think I'd believe the 30 years at this point. I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up here for this video. Next video, we're going to get some gas and clean out the carburetor and see if she'll fire up. Thanks, everybody.